Hey friends, welcome to day four of our 14 day challenge in letting others want with us. Let's dive right in. I wanted to talk with you today about the power of agreement. So um, that is what we have really, what I've been experiencing since the beginning of this contest. There's been a group of you that joined in agreement with me and my state of desire to be Cancun.com's Cancun Experience Officer. And so each and every time you voted for me or shared a post or invited your friends to this group, you know, you have demonstrated agreement toward me. And agree means to uh, share the same view as. So really to distill it is it's to see the same as, you know, as another. I believe that the power of agreement brings great fruit. I'm going to explain, you know, why and how in just a second. but. The reason why I feel that there's a need for it is because socially, I'm of the opinion that um, just a kind of across the board, because there's been a normative story that life is hard and unenjoyable and that you just have to adapt yourself to it. So because like that faulty foundation has been accepted as normal reality, the other thing that has been accepted as normal reality is that our our relationships seem to cater to vegging out and just like, uh, you know, to agree with someone's desire essentially is saying that I will see what you see. I see what you see. And you may not say anything particularly different, you might not do anything particularly different, but I assure you that. This is a mental position that you've taken. Um, you are sitting in alignment with, harmonious alignment with the state of desire of, you know, a friend or a loved one who has confessed, you know, to wanting this dream job, to um, wanting to be ready for, um, you know, mature and rapturous love, to, um, to be ready for the uh, enjoyment of one dream home gotten with ease and grace. The thing is this, I don't know why we've been kind of socialized. It, it, well, I do because of that sad narrative. So it's like, don't be too daring because I don't know, that expends too much energy and you have to save your energy for the drudgery thing that got mistaken for a life, you know? So there's usually incredible discouragement of one's dreams and we're usually uh, so like socially, it's like when someone expresses a dream, there is this sort of like knee jerk reaction to just want to like smack it down. And, and, and if, you, if, if your experience of this is different, please tell me, let me know. I really am interested to hear other people's experience of um, what you do with your hopes and your dreams because I will, um, for the, you know, for the longest time, I. I kept, you know, I was very secretive and silent about my dreams and with my dreams, you know, for all of you know, unsurprising reasons of, um, um, well, basically, you know, not really, not really feeling that, that there were any trusted receivers of it. So, uh, like someone to be with it, you know, I did, so I just, you know, would sit on things. And until I came into friendship with someone who had the capacity, you know, to, um, to, to do this kind of, it's like tending each other's garden. So, you know, she travels and when she goes, you water her carrots and then you travel and when you go, she waters your tomatoes. And you guys care for each other's garden as if the yield is your own. Um, and essentially, it's because you have the bigger understanding that it is. You know, I mean, out of just like the, you know, the, the after, you know, the recognition of like that, that very tender, delicate web of life that we all share. So we've been socialized and conditioned out of an agreeable nature. And I know that like agreeability is, you know, is seen as, um, I mean, of course, it's a desirable trait uh, because, you know, it's pleasant to be around. And it's also, you know, easy to manipulate and prey upon. 
agreeableness, I think, has gotten like targeted, you know, especially for those who believe in self-rulership I think that it, like in a reaction against the you know co coercive force of will upon upon us there has been this complete suspicion or you know just like this tendency to just you know be disagreeable you know so it's like it's a, it's, it's a default state of mind and, and so I'm just saying that if someone has shared their desire with you to sail around the world and and you would you know and maybe you would hold your energy okay i would say like that you know at least that at least isn't doing any harm but when we you know are in operating in that disagreeable nature of like withholding just the will to to be hopeful with someone else i just want to expose that to say you know it's you know like it you know, bone marrow is not being asked of you. Bitcoin is not being asked of you. Um, so there's, you know, I mean, there's, I don't see any really like any reason to be so like withholding of our co-signature with another, you know, uh, for something that they, for something that they desire. So, so thank you because I'm recognizing the fact that it is really, really rare to find people and here you all are. And I want to thank you for being agreeable with me about this desire. And I want to encourage you to not limit this incredible gift that you're giving me, to not limit it to me. You know, at this time of year, people start getting into their New Year's resolutions. And it would be a great time for you to, like, perk your ears up and listen, you know, to these, you know, to different, like, stated desires that people might feel that they have for, like, the of the new year and um and so you know just like kind of you know just pause and maybe notice like what position do you do you find yourself kind of going to do you, are you automatically ready to you know not see what they see are you are you automatically kind of already you know up, pulling up the seeds that haven't even been able to sprout yet or are you you know happy and eager to want to you know, water and fertilize and nourish. So I'm talking about a stage one and a stage two. I'm not advocating for like the collection of yes people or cheerleaders or the lack of refinement, but I'm saying that there's a place for that. Two ways of looking, you know, at each of the roles that we play in this uh, agreement is if you are the one giving the agreement, then, you know, can see yourself as a midwife and you see yourself really occupying a very sacred role of, of collaborator and co-creator and you are facilitating life you're facilitating the life of a dream it is very big work very you know kind of like unrecognized unrewarded work because it is um unseen but it is it is real so um so you know when someone expresses a desire and and you would have vetted it, you know, and you can determine that it's um, of a harmless nature. And, and if it's someone that you care about, then I encourage you to be lavish in your giving of it. And, and, and to question, why would you withhold or reserve your, your energetic signature or your energetic co-signature? Do you, are you thinking that there's a lack of um, your supply? To, to share because the truth is it is I mean it's not so cliche but it is true that, when, that like if you you know if you give ten percent away you get like restored thirty percent I mean I mean that this is an approximation but I'm just trying to put numbers to something that I am feeling and living you know myself so like earlier this morning I saw in my news feed I saw that you know, there were a couple of friends who had you know were so bold and brave to share something that they desire and it took me you know a few minutes to just like co-sign their desire and their dream with them um and to you know and just to align myself to say i see what you see i see that oceanside cantina with you i see that uh oh it's an oceanside residence i got two friends who want to be on the ocean it's interesting okay so you know what i mean and it's like look these are desires that are in my on my mind i'm thinking about it i'm adding you know i'm adding color and texture to it that's 
the watering of their garden. And why shouldn't I? Because these are people who are supporting me in my in my dream, you know. When a, when a minimum of two people goodness, come together in agreement, that's it. It's so simple. It's just like we, you know, like our thoughts are harmonized. We agree. We see the same thing here. Like we agree that no government should have um, prevailing rule over our person. That is saying that we see the same kind of world in that way. In that way. It's, uh, and so, oh, to speak more to those um, two roles I wanted to quickly just pull into mention is that um, when you're playing the role of, of midwife, um, you can just, you know, I mean, see yourself as like a, a, a very needed incubator because this is a very tough world. And because that we have been so conditioned to fear big hope. And, we, I, and, and it's my opinion, it's my observation that, that socially we have been conditioned to pessimism and um, into like this real like low level kind of really sad <laughs> expectation that is just, um, it's almost like the, you know, the older one gets the more like, you know, just like broken down and weary like one becomes. And um, so to be person who is, you know, saying, I am holding light. I, you know, I make myself available to convey and transmit photons and warmth and, and compassion and belief, believing eyes with those who dare to dream. You know, when you do that, like as you're doing with me in this group, okay, when you do that, you have, I mean, just please know what, uh, just like what a hero you are being. So that's, you know, speaking to the midwife role, you know, that just by, just by that little small act, I mean, you are moving dreams forward and making them, and, and give, and, and adding solidity to them. And then the other part is like, when you are receiving this gift, then, then you could think of it as like the, the, instead of a midwife, instead of you being a midwife, it's like you receiving a massage and you are talking to your masseuse and you're letting your masseuse know the necessary information you're letting your masseuse know so that you can have the best experience okay the masseuse should know about like injuries that you have or like vulnerabilities that you've got like be easy on the back you know um so that they don't go in there and like do more harm and so that they can you know work with you in partnership to be, uh, you know, to be your best, because that is ultimately what I feel that we have the potential to do in our social friendships, in our in our relationships with each other, is that they would be these like um, instruments that spur us to our greatness, and out of like just this complacent mediocrity. I, wanna, I just want to see hope get, you know, get a, get another another chance among grown folk. Like, why are the kids the you know, the only ones that seem to really um, understand um, the power of being hopeful and, uh, on, for yourself and on behalf of others. So, all right, so those are the two, you know, those are the, um, the two main things that, you know, I wanted to kind of like just celebrate about being, um, being agreeable, being conscious about that and, <clears throat> and not hesitating, you know, I mean, to be lavish in, being agreeable, like just, I, you know, just ixnay on the, you know, you're, it's not foolish. It's, you know, you're not, you're not expending anything great, to be honest. I mean, there's not, there's not, there's no personal sacrifice. Um, it's just a willingness to flex your hope muscle. And like, I think you can't use practice in that. Oh, and for those who, who are, who tend to be of a disagreeable nature, I just don't, I, you know, I don't want to hate on you. I want to say that like your voice is needed too. For you, like those who tend to dissent or, you know, to kind of like, you know, see um, all that could go wrong or you're immediately aware of like all of the uh, possible dangers and, 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 and problems and catastrophes. Seriously, that is valuable and, and that is to the refining work of anything and making it better um, and bringing excellence to it. And it's for stage two. So uh, I'm just I'm saying that like socially in terms of like our the way that we're being human together, um, when we are incubating someone else's dream, when it's at that first stage of actually 
giving voice to the thing that you hope for, it's a vulnerable thing to do. And it's a, it's a, it's a fragile stage of development. So at that stage one level, tenderness is needed. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm to speak to, you know, I'm to speak to these sort of quirky, quirky things that actually are game changers. And so um, tenderness in this way, practicing tender in incubation with each other is um, going to next level us and our projects. So thank you for considering all this. And okay, the last thing that I need to mention is where we are standing um, in the in in the competition. So I, you know, this is the first time to my knowledge that I have uh, dropped in in like the status or the, the voting status to I, I, I was maintaining a, a, a great record of top 70 up until you know however recently because when I last looked I had dropped to, to, to 75. Okay so in perspective I mean there's more than 4,000 entries so you know to be holding 70 you know 75 is like that's that's decent and like I said you know it's that the top 100 that they make their decision for the next level. So it's still not even guaranteed, even if I you know, can maintain uh, staying above or you know, staying above the top 100 in votes, that's still not a certainty, but it, it, it at least lets me enter you know, the stage of standing to be considered for the next level. So it is important that I stay in the top 100. So um, just letting you know that Votes are still needed each and every day because you know everyone else, all the other competitors are, are moving forward steadily. So, um, so I need to maintain that track and that progress. And we've come, we've, we've really you know come very far. So please don't tire. Thank you so very much for all that you do. Thank you for being in agreement with me, and um, and it's just been my desire to try to reflect some of this goodness back to you, splash it back on you. All right. So enjoy, it and I'll see you tomorrow.